lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I style my signature curl look. So, so many of you have been asking me to do a hair tutorial and at first I thought, what's the point? It's very simple, there are so many hair tutorials out there. But you've been asking me so much and I thought I'd also take this opportunity to talk about my new hair extensions that I am in love with. I've had them for I think it's about two weeks now. So I just washed my hair and blow dried it. I usually air dry it, but I had a lot to get done today. So I blow dried it and then I ran a straightener through. So it's not bone straight at the moment, but it's straight enough. So you can see as usual, hair extensions after a wash are quite puffy and um, quite full. This hair is completely product free and it still has a nice shine to it and it's very flowy and fluffy. Um, just so you know, I'm sitting in front of my window because I'm taking advantage of the nice sunny day. So that's why the setup is a bit different. I would usually film a video like this over there. So I decided to try out these Umberto Giannani products. So I've got a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. So that's what they look like. And I have to say, they've actually done very, very well cleaned the hair extremely well. I got rid of all the products and oils that I've been using before that. Not very much, but it got rid of it. And then the moisturizing conditioner, add the moisture back. And I think that's what sort of got the shine in there as well, um, which I think you can see, but it's very, very like free and flowy and it's quite bouncy already. My hair extensions are from Noxu Hair and you can find them online at noxuhair.com and also on Instagram and I think on Twitter as well. And I currently have three 22 inches of Peruvian hair in and I also have a 12 inch closure and I've never ever had a closure before. I installed it all myself. This is sort of a wig, I suppose. Yeah, I think it is a wig. And um, I'm quite proud of what I actually did. I've done a U part before because I always have a leave out, but it was just time for me to put my hair away and protect it because heat damage is very, very real. So I've got a closure in and I think I've done pretty well considering it's my first ever ever closure. I have to say I was quite nervous about installing a closure but this actually looks pretty good like what do you guys think? Let me know what you think um, but don't be mean. So I'm going to start off by using my Umberto Giannini smoothing serum. This serum has literally been life. It tames the hair and it defrizzes so I've not had much frizziness so that's probably why you guys have been liking this hair a lot as ours because I haven't had those fuzzy frizzy bits. The curls have just been laying down like water it's been amazing so i'm going to do one square and that should be enough for both sides of my hair so i just sort of rub it in so my hands are really greasy right now and then i'm just going to massage that smells beautiful it smells like a hair salon like that oh it's like kind of perfumed but also like oh it's lovely and i do a bit at the top as well just so that it all looks nice and shimmery. I always make sure to sort of pay a bit more attention to the ends of my hair because what I've noticed about all the extensions I've ever bought to be honest with you is that the first part of the hair that starts to look old is the ends. They can get really trashy sometimes. So far so good. I've got good ends but you have to look after them. I'm just going to go straight in using my very old curling wand. I mean it does the job but I would say it's seen better days and it is probably time for an upgrade. I am going to look for getting an interchangeable sizing uh, wand. I don't really know what they're called but you know you can change the barrel so I have different sizes. Or I think I might just look for one that has a thicker barrel so I can get more of an even bouncier curl but this definitely does the job for me right now and I can do different kinds of curls with just this one wand I know how I don't know I've just become a master of this wand my hair is split into two sections and I literally just take sections and curl so I don't section the hair too small because the smaller you section the smaller and tighter the curl and I don't want a really tight curl I want it to be a bit more of a loose bouncy curl so I would say this is sort of enough and um, I tend to do my curls in different directions so right now this first curl is going towards you guys. So with this car, I went outwards and wrapped it towards you guys going forward. But I will show you the opposite direction on the next one. And I hold for, I don't know, until I start seeing it seaming because then I know that the car has taken. That's just my thing. And then I let it drop. Throw that to the back of my hair and I keep doing that. And I will now show you the opposite direction. I'm going to go on top and I'm going to curl towards myself like this. And then hold it. And 
there's the second curl so the reason why I do different directions is because that adds some volume to the hair section and curl so now I'm going to carry on as I've been doing but I'm not going to do the curl as high as I was doing it because it's at the front I don't particularly want the curls to be poofing out at the front I just want them to rest nice and gently down the bottom and I'm going to do a backwards curl towards myself and there's a nice curl left and I'll just put that at the back and now I split this in half because I want this curl to be higher because it's the front it's like I make curtains at the front of my hair sometimes partly because I want the hair to be out of my face but I also quite like the refined look yeah that's good bring that back and then the front this is actually the hard side because I'm right-handed then what I do is bring this side forward and this part that I've curled this curtain I tuck it behind so it looks like that and then I'm going to do the exact same thing with this section and be very careful I'm literally holding on to one strand of hair bring all of it forward and I just sort of spot check so I'll see if there are any straight pieces of hair and ends that need a curl so right now it's actually looking quite good. I'm making you guys think I'm a professional, right? Um, but I'm not. That that curl, it's a bit loose. I'm gonna just give it another recurl. This is what I also do. Because you can't see the back of your hair, I just sort of tease the hair and get some bits out. And then, for example, even though this has a bit of a curl, it's very loose. And I don't want the back of my hair to be like uncurled, so. I literally just go through the back and just add some curls in. So now my curls are all done. I managed to do some at the back and etc. I now literally just do this and not too much because um, I usually wait about at least 10 minutes before doing that so that the curls can like have their time. And then I just sort of play with it a bit just to bounce it out because I don't particularly like completely flat hair. I like it to have a bit of volume to it, but not too much, just a little bit. Do you see how nice and shiny the hair is? The hair is shiny itself, but I also recommend the serum that I used as well, which you can get online and in stores. Then guys, the last thing that I do every single day without fail is go in with my Keracare Edge Tamer product, which is actually almost finished. I have tried every single edge control product you can imagine from olive oil to all the other ones and they all work great at first but after a while my hair just kinks right back up so I actually have baby hairs that are uncontrollable that will just stick out and just curl up so I need to just tame them and keep them flat so they can blend in especially with the closure now because it's not my hair I want it to look as slick and real as possible I literally just take a little bit out a tiny bit on my finger which I don't know if you can see because of the sun and I just put a little bit there and I'll do the same thing on the other side and then I just go in with my um, tooth comb and just comb them down really I don't do anything fancy because I just want it to be as neat and slick as possible so as I mentioned earlier my hair is from Noxu hair and my three bundles of beautiful 22 inch Peruvian hair and my beautiful 12 inch closure came in this beautiful very nice Noxu hair box which looks very professional and to me packaging is key it's the first impression you're going to get of a brand so I knew that I was going to get some quality extensions doesn't it look beautiful it honestly does this is probably one of my favorite hair brands to date so far I haven't tried loads but what I will say is I don't get any sort of um, matting knots at the back which sometimes happens at the back of your hair and it holds a curl very well and throughout the day my hair still looks quite flawless so I don't touch up my hair during the day or anything so when I'm on snapchat and I'm snapping you guys at the end of the day when I've just got home from work that has been my hair since the morning I've not done anything to it the closure has been very 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 good to me despite my sort of 
paranoia about the whole process it's actually done very well and i have been complimented a few times about my closure and how nice it looks so thank you so much noxu hair for letting me try out your hair extensions so i hope you've all enjoyed this video it's a very quick and realistic chatty hair tutorial because you've all been asking me this so much so now it's done you don't have to ask me about my hair anymore i hope you all have a lovely day whenever you watch this bye